Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the Ward vs. Kovalev 2 conference call. Your host for today, Ellen Haley, will begin. Hi, everybody. I apologize for the delay. What would a boxing conference call be without some technical difficulties? Uh, but I want to thank you for joining us for Sergei Kovalev's media call. And we're, of course, here to discuss the Ward versus Kovalev 2, the rematch, which is taking place on June 17th at Mandalay Bay Events Center in Las Vegas. The fight will be produced and distributed by HBO Pay-Per-View beginning ET, 6 p.m. PT. With us on the call today, we have Sergei Crusher Kovalev. We have Kathy Duva, CEO of Main Events. We have Agus Klimas, Sergey's manager, and John David Jackson, Sergey's boxing trainer. During the Q&A, you'll be able to ask questions of any of them. And since you've waited so long, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce Kathy Duva. Kathy, you can greet all these fine people. Say a few words. Hello, everyone. Um, I'll keep it brief, too. We're just 11 days away, and we're excited, and uh, we're going to have a great event. And that's Thank all you. I have to say. <laughs> Sergey, want to say hello? Yes, hello, everybody. And a few words. Agus Klimas, any words for us? Hello, everybody. <laughs> and John David Jackson, you're with us as well, correct? Yes. All right. Right now I'm going to ta open up the Q&A. The operator will take it from here, and we'll get you going. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. As a courtesy to others, please limit your questions to a maximum of two questions per turn. If you would like to ask an additional follow-up question, you may join the queue again by pressing star 1 again. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. One moment while I'm waiting for the callers to join the queue. Our first question is going to come from Dan Raphael from ESPN. Please go ahead. Thank you, everybody. Uh, hello. Uh, I have a question for uh, I'd like uh, Sergey and uh, John David to answer if they could. Uh, when you have gone back and looked at the video of the fight from November, how do you guys score it? And, and why do you think, what do you, when you watch it, what do you think it was maybe that the judges saw that convinced them to give, uh, you know, the, the majority of the rounds to Ward? Uh, who is that to John? Are you asking first? I'd, I'd like to like hear from uh, John and from Sergey on that question. Okay. Let Sergey go first if you want. Sergey, could you answer that? Серега, вопрос в таком плане, что когда ты пересматривал бой, а как ты думаешь, что судьи видели, как-то судьи видели это все по-другому? Что именно? Как ты думаешь? Твое мнение? Uh, I watched it only one time this uh, fight, and uh, you know, I, I don't know what, what they counting, you know, but uh, it's not my job. I, I saw what uh, that I won the fight uh, eight rounds of twelve uh, and like I don't know I really don't care you know it, it doesn't matter like, what happened uh, for me it's the most important what will happen June seventeen. Okay, uh, John, could you address that? Uh, have you scored it, and what have you saw that maybe? You thought the judges may have seen that convinced them to give those rounds to uh, Andre. Uh, yeah, I watched it. I scored the fight. Uh, my head is 9-3 uh, at best for us and 8-4 worse for us. You know, he won the fight. He dominated the first half of the fight. Uh, the second half of the fight, he, he, um, he didn't dominate as much as he could have, but, you know, what Ward did to really um, justify him getting a decision. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that, 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 uh, that um, Sergey won the fight, you know, hands down. Uh, you know, the judges, whatever, why they scored it, only, only they know and God knows. We can't, you know, we have to look past that. Um, but, you know, whatever the court did, 
survival rounds didn't really merit a victory for him, but he got it, and we have to move on with that and, uh, you know, just prepare for the second fight. Uh, the one thing I will tell the, the fans is Sergey proved in the first half of that fight that he can have box war at war's own game. So, you know, and our boy said he could. So, you know, it just, it just adds, adds more to what we need to do for the second fight. That's what I want to ask you guys about uh, when it comes to the second fight. Do you think that, uh, Sergey and Deb John, if you could both answer this, do you think that you need to change anything in any way dramatically because you feel like you won the fight? I think most of the media, many of the fans think that you guys won the fight. Uh, it's a different judging panel in this fight than the first fight. So because you didn't get the W, do you think you have to do anything dramatic in terms of changing what you're going to bring in on, uh, on the 17th? Or can you fight uh, in, in a game plan that you all thought was successful the first time and win again in your mind? Yeah, let me answer this one first. Um, honestly, if you look at it, Sergey doesn't have to do much more than what he did because he proved to the fans in the first half of the fight that he can win it at, at one game. Now, what he needs to do is be more uh, aggressive and effective in the second half of the fight than he did in the first half of the fight. But he proved he's a better fighter. He, he's a bigger puncher. You know, for all the they, 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 war team is claiming what they did, how great he was, if, that, if that's his best, then guess what? He, 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 he's, uh, he's past his prime because all he did was survive. And in surviving, he was given points and awarded, uh, I guess, a decision because he survived. He wasn't hit, he wasn't hit with Sergey's best shot. It, it, it was it wasn't a full on you know hard shot that he landed. He kind of, it was it was kind of flush and wasn't the best punch, but it still dropped him. So just imagine what had happened that Sergey landed his best shot on Ward's chin. Uh, it'd, been, it'd been lights out. So we you know, there's not much more we, we have to do really. We're gonna do things differently, but there's not much more we, we have to really do to be victorious in the second time around as he was the first time around. So there's not much pressure for it, or we got to change these different things now. On the flip side, you know, all this tough awards, the, the camp's talking, they better switch up, and they better come up with a better game plan the second time around. Uh, Sir, is there anything you'd like to add to that about making any kind of changes as you guys go through the, the rest of your camp for this fight? Серега, вопрос был в таком плане, что очень много все думают, что ты все-таки выиграл бой, включая всех репортеров, всех фанов и людей, которые присматривали. То есть надо делать какие-то изменения сейчас в этой подготовке на, на ремач или выходить то же самое, что ты и делал, и спокойно выигрывать бой. И сейчас Джон сказал, и он спрашивает, у тебя есть что-то добавить? No, I, I don't want to uh, add something to everything uh, until John. And I have just a very big motivation for this fight, you know, and I would like to, and I want to get uh, back my belt, you know, and we'll be ready for June 17th. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Thank you very much. Our next question is going to come from Lance um, Pugmire from the L.A. Times. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to ask also for uh, Sergey and John David. I mean, last time um, after the fight, Sergey, you talked about maybe you overtrained and, you know, paid the price for that in the second half of the fight. How attentive are you guys to that issue now as camp comes to a close, and what measures have you taken to uh, ensure that that will not happen again? Серега, вопрос в таком плане, что а, в прошлый раз после боя ты сказал, что ты постоянно говоришь, что ты как бы перетренировался, очень много сил, сил потратил на тренировки. А как, как происходит вся подготовка в этот раз и насколько уверен, что в этот раз ты уже как бы будешь готов? Uh, uh, we've deleted all my last mistakes and like doing good. Like I think that right now is uh, much better, and uh, right now is uh, training camp is going like uh, right, and uh, we'll check everything June 17. Like let's uh, let's uh, wait June 17. And John David, you just want to elaborate, like what things you guys have done? No, no, Sergey answered answered that pretty well. That was that was a good answer. Okay, you don't want to get into specifics at all. No, June seventeenth, you'll see, no problem. Okay, 
let me let me ask you guys this because you know, look, Sergey, um, the the judges may have given you a raw deal in your mind the first time around, and um, Nevada has come back again, I believe, with three American judges in this case as well. Um, it seems as if it behooves you to pursue a knockout to take it out of the judge's hands. Are you doing those kinds of things in training camp to you know pursue that idea and, and finish him well, without it going to the scorecards? Ты пытаешься ты что-то делаешь в подготовке, что не оставлять это для судей, потому что Невада Комишин не, да, не дала никаких возможностей выбрать других судей. И они опять назначили три американские судьи а, от себя. То есть у тебя как бы откладывается в голове, что тебе надо его нокаутировать, и ты делаешь ли это что-то в кемпе в подготовке, чтобы не оставить это судьи. Uh, you know, like everything depends uh, from uh, from my uh, preparation, yeah, from my shape, uh, how I get the best shape for this fight. And I'm trying to get right now best shape for June 17th, and we can see what will happen June 17th. I don't know, like, uh, how exactly the fight is going to be. Uh, by decision or uh, somebody stop each other, you know, like, uh, l- let's just see, like, uh, I-, I don't have any prediction, you know. I just uh, have a one... One goal to to beat Underwood and uh, beat all shit from him, you know, because he didn't deserve this the belt and this status of the champion. He's right now like uh, put the very high his nose and walking everywhere and don't see the people around him. I want to put okay. him on, on the his place again, back to his place. Okay, great. Thank you, Sergey. You're welcome. Our next question is going to come from Keith Eidick from the boxing team. Please go ahead. Yeah, yes, my question is for Sergey. Uh, Sergey, I know that um, uh, your promoter tried to get some international judges involved, and although the three judges that were assigned to the fight are, are very good judges, uh, considered among the best in boxing, um, would you have preferred to have international, at least one or two international judges because that was your complaint after the first fight? А, Серега, мы знаем, что твой промоутер пытался получить какие-то а, независимости судьи а, там, откуда-то с других, там, ну, с других континентов. И то есть вопрос такой, что ты бы лучше а, имел бы независимые судьи с других стран? Uh, you know, like, my is, uh, I'm ready for everything what uh, God gives me. Uh, this is the next uh, test for me. I, I believe that uh, judges will, uh, will do best uh, they work, you know, uh, best job, uh, what they should to do. And I believe that these judges, because, like, my promoter, uh, uh, like, wish, wish to be... Uh, uh, judges, because they never mistake before. Did they never mistake before? And uh, let's just see June seventeenth. I don't know, like, and I don't think about uh, who is gonna like uh, service this uh, fight or like something. I should to do my best uh, job in, into the ring, you know, like, and this fight will be as I will do in, in the ring. And this fight for the fans, for the boxing fans, if uh, happen, it will happen in something bad, uh, everybody will see what will happen, you know. It's, it's the most important. Uh, who will see, uh, uh, what, what will see uh, boxing fans? Not a decision. Because last decision was wrong, and all people and boxing fans saw it. What happened? And uh, terrible right now. Nobody recognized Andre Ward as a champion, and he should to approve uh, June 17 that he's a real champion. If uh, uh, not me, he should to approve. He needs to approve that he's a, he deserves uh, to wear this belt. 
but I, I just I get into the ring and uh, he has that knowledge and I find I want to punish him. I want to punish him and get my belt back. And Sergey, last week uh, Kathy mentioned to me how she thought that you looked much better when she was there for your media day last week as opposed to back in November that you looked fresher and you looked uh, much more energetic and and uh, and just better overall. Do you, how much better do you feel maybe at this point in training camp than you felt the last time uh, before you fought Andre? Yeah, I feel I feel much better at this point. And, uh, no, any nervous about my shape right now because the last uh, before last fight uh, I I couldn't to say uh, before the fight like a cancel fight you know and say I don't want to fight it because I'm not ready. I gone to the fight and walked with, walked uh, steps into the ring you know and uh, fought under walk with empty energy trunks. I mean, a, a empty trunk. My energy trunk was empty one month before the fight. And right now, I understand that I did very great, uh, very great like, fight in the history in myself that I fought uh, empty with, uh, with the best uh, American fighter. You know, and this fighter didn't win. But right now, I feel that definitely the fight is going to be different. Different and is much better than last one. Thank you, Sergey. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. Again, if you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. Our next question is going to come from Sean Cross from Boxing Insider. Please go ahead. Hi, everyone. How are you? I uh, just wanted to ask uh, Mr. Jackson and Mr. Koval have a quick question. Are they expecting perhaps that Ward may come in with a slightly different game plan this time around than he did the first time? Uh, they may. You know, listen, if, if, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're a fighter... And you're smart. You come in and make adjustments. But what little adjustments can Ward make? Is he going to, is he going to be more aggressive? If he does, that that's, that works in our favor. Is he going to run more? If he does, that works more in our favor. Um, the best thing to do, he's champion. He needs to prove that he won that first fight outright, which he didn't. So now he he needs to be a little more aggressive. Um, how much more smart in the ring can he be than what he what he is? He's a tremendous talent as far as boxing wise in the ring. So you can't get much more more. Um, brilliant than he is now. Um, he has to be, if he's going to change his game, he has to be more aggressive. He has to be willing to take more chances to prove that he did beat Sergey the first fight, first fight, which he did not. So there's not much more he can really do that he, that he didn't do the first fight. He's good when he does, and that's surviving and making the fight ugly and, and winning the way he wins. Uh, you, you can't knock him for that, but can he improve? No, not really. He did the best he could that night, and he, and he survived, and he was, he was given the points for that. So if he's going to make any adjustments, they may be small adjustments, but not, they're not going to be adjustments that are going to make you a better, more aggressive, dominating fighter. But if he does, well, then guess what? Then he's playing Russian roulette, and he's going to get clipped. Thank you. Hey, really Russian roulette. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Tom? How do you do that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Our next question is going to come from Steve Brand from Fight um, Hype. Please go ahead. Hi there. Uh, my question is actually for Kathy Duva. Um, Kathy, can you just give us your thoughts around the promotion of the event? So I, I know Main Events was the lead promoter for the first fight, and Rock Nation has assumed that role for the rematch. Can you just talk about how you feel the promotion has been executed up until this point, and if you know, you would have done any better? And and secondly, do, do you just expect the pay-per-view sales to be stronger uh, for the rematch than they were for the first fight, given that they were pretty low for a fight of this magnitude? Yeah, um, look, I'm not going to comment on how the promotion is going versus last time or what we did do better, because there's not really no point to that. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the decision, uh, Rock Nation bargained for the right to be the lead promoter, uh, and so it's theirs. Um, as far as 
what sales are going to be. I don't know that there's any way to predict pay-per-view sales. So everybody's just, you know, doing their best. Uh, I'm really happy with the 24-7 that just came out, and we're distributing it today. And I would uh, beginning to distribute, I should say, uh, today online. And I would urge anyone who hasn't seen it to take a look. Uh, I think uh, HBO's uh, work is always the very best. It is always brilliant. People are saying this is the best 24-7 in years, and that's quite a statement when you consider the quality of the work that they do. So, um, I, you know, that seems to me to be a, a great selling tool, and hopefully um, that's going to have a big impact in the next few days. Great. Thanks, Kathy. And one question for Sergey. Um, Sergey, can, can you just talk a little bit about what the source of animosity is between you and Andre Ward? This seems to be a very genuine dislike between you two. And from your perspective, is, is that just because, uh, you know, he he disingenuously in your mind feels that he won the fight, or, or is it how he carries himself, or is it just a banter between you two? Can you just elaborate that on that a little bit? Серега, вопрос, как ты можешь прокомментировать то, что сейчас происходит между между вами, между тобой и Вордом? Твое мнение, он думает, что он все-таки выиграл этот бой, или ты думаешь, или ты твое мнение, что он сейчас как бы ходит такой, как голова высоко поднятая, потому что у него находятся сейчас вот эти титулы, и вообще, как бы ты мог бы прокомментировать вот эту обстановку, которая происходит сейчас между тобой и им? I don't want any to do any comments, you know, I don't want to do any comments, because uh, uh, he doesn't deserve my attention to, to spend the time for, for him, you know, like, I just I want to punish him that his acts right now is uh, no, <clears throat> uh, no gives the respect to my attention. Thanks, guys. Our next question is going to come from Gilbert Mazzano from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Please go ahead. Hello, guys. Uh, Sergey, just going back to the night of the fight, I'm just curious about your uh, your reaction. It kind of seemed like you were very calm when, when the judges announced before. I thought you'd be a little more, I guess, upset or angry. Your team was pretty upset, but you were more calm. Was that you kind of control your emotions? You seen your family that kind of kept you calm? What was going through your mind? Серега, после боя, когда они объявили, что что ты проиграл, ты как бы очень спокойно это все принял. Говорит, я думал, что ты будешь намного как бы там злее, нервничать или там что-то психовать, но ты как бы очень спокойно так вообще без никаких проблем. Как ты можешь прокомментировать это? Yes, I was quiet because you know I was empty. Uh, no any emotions, no any energy to to do something. You know, uh, uh, since the fifth round, I was empty, and uh, I was uh, just uh, killed by by decision. And uh, I shouldn't to do something. You know, I, I couldn't to change something. Like what happened is happened. I just uh, understood that I was uh, robbed, and uh, I don't have any more belt right now. <laughs> It's just like uh, I already thought that uh, when will be the match. I see. Did you feel like you were a little upset at yourself, kind of mad that you let him off the hook? You knocked him down in the second round. It seemed like you could have knocked him, that, knocked him down again, but I think you were saying you're a little tired. But do you feel like you're a little mad at yourself for not finishing the job? No, как ты все равно как бы ты был немножко расстроен в этой всей ситуации. Что ты его как бы нокаутировал в втором раунде, но все равно дали как бы в другую сторону. Of course I was disappointed, but the most uh, is the most my disappointed was uh, of my uh, как это выступление или Эги, как выступление? Выступление, да, выступление, а, блядь, э uh, not preparation, uh, performance. Perform. Yeah, I I was very uh, very disappointed by my performance that I didn't show what I what I could, you know, 
and uh, so just uh, it was not my day. It was not my day, and uh, I was disappointed yes about this and that I overrated this uh, uh, this uh, paper champion. You know, like just uh, overrated, overrated him, and therefore I was disappointed that I did it. You know, like. I was angry in my, uh, for myself. Got it. Thank you, Sergey. Appreciate the time. <clears throat> Our next question is going to come from Cynthia Cote from Ring TV. Please go ahead. Hi, everybody. All right. So, you know, it's no secret that both of you have made it very known about your disdain for each other. Uh, he said recently that you're very successful at being a bully towards him. Can you talk about your thoughts when um, Ward has said you and your team main events are playing games which are Cynthia, are you gone? Can you hear Hello? No, we can't hear you. We're going to... Cynthia, can Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hear me? Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry. I don't know what happened. All right. Hi, guys. Okay. So it's no secret that both of you have made it known about your disdain for each other in the media. He said that you're very successful at being a bully. Can you talk about your thoughts when Ward says that? And also, he's saying that you and your team, main events, are playing games, and you're also trying to sway the commission and judges your way if it's a close fight. Hello? Yes, yeah, we are having a really hard time um, hearing you, so I'm going to have to have you perhaps uh-huh. back. You're on a bad line. We're going to move on to the next one. Our next question is going to come from Salvador Rodriguez from ESPN Deportes. Please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, this is just for uh, Katy Duban. Katy, uh, do you see any fair fight between Kovalev and Andrew Ward? Uh, what is the the in the contract? Do you have any another rematch close or not? No, no more, no more rematch. No more rematch close. This is it. So if uh, Kovalev won this, this uh, second fight, there's no more, no more uh, in the series between Kovalev and Ward. There's no ob- there's no obligation for there to be a rematch. Obviously, people could make decisions that they want to have one, but that is not something that we are obligated to do. That's okay. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Our next question is going to come from Jeffrey Freeman from the Sweet Science. Please go ahead. Hi. Thank you for putting me on the call. Can you hear me okay? We can. We can hear you. Great. Thank you. Um, I don't mean to beat a dead horse, uh, Sergey. Uh, I've read that you called Andre Ward a fake champion. Can you please explain that a little bit? What do you mean by that? Serge, you called him a fake champion. I'm not a fake champion. You can comment on your podcast. I already explained a lot of times why. He's a paper champion because he didn't deserve this uh, belt uh, by wrong decision. Okay, Sergey, uh, one more question. Is WBC light heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson still on your radar? Uh, and if so, what are your thoughts on his performance last weekend? Стивенсон как бы тебя на радаре, и что ты думаешь по его выступлению в субботу? Uh, yeah, he he beat uh, he beat uh, he started to beat uh, his opponent by second lap. Не знаю, понял, не да это. По второму кругу. Короче, он начал бить своих оппонентов по второму кругу. То есть он бьет уже не с кем. 
Yeah, he is, uh, he's starting he is starting to beat his opponent on by second round because he doesn't want probably you know in his mind he doesn't want to fight anybody afresh. So he goes in the ring with a guy who he knows already he can beat, who already he beat uh, 11 rounds out, out of 12, as just an example. Mm-hmm. In the last fight, in the last fight he beat Fanfara 11 rounds out of 12, and he's fighting with them again. So it's a second round opponent. It's a bit of a logic, a yeah, So he's already fighting the, the, like Uber drivers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's kind. Of, that's kind of unkind to Uber drivers. <laughs> no, well, you know, if you're if you're a taxi driver, Uber driver, you're not fighting, right? But it looks like you know somebody does. So it's okay. I, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Our next question um, that we have on the line is coming from Karen Tate from theboxing.com. Please go ahead. Hi. Thanks for for taking the time to talk with us today. This question is for John David Jackson. Um, you mentioned how in the first fight, Kovalev uh, brought in someone you didn't know to speak Russian to him in the corner, so you weren't able to give instructions that night. Have you and Sergey talked about this, and is it going to be different in the rematch? Uh, there was no, no, no need to talk about it. You know, we just, in the second fight, we just came together, and you know, we realized there were mistakes that were made and uh, things that we could improve on. And so, you know, we... Don't have a, a, a real problem, and people think we, we may have. But for this fight here, he understood the mistakes that he made, and he corrected them. And so now we just go forward and uh, do the things that we need to do to be victorious the second fight, the second time around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Our next question is going to come from Gail um, from Community Digital News. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. I'm still laughing about the Uber driver comment. I know some pretty badass Uber drivers, so watch out. (laughs) This is really a question for everybody to answer um, in two parts. Sergey, it's very obvious how angry you are about the result from the last fight, as were many observers. And you have this drive now, this anger to get the belt back. So this is for both Sergey and then all of you who watch him daily. How is that anger helping you motivate for this fight? Do you think that anger is a good tool to motivate you to win this time? And, and how, for those of you observing him, how are you seeing it in him drive him towards the second fight? Um. Серега, потому что, потому что, как бы, сейчас у тебя вот эта злость, и ты э, не очень доволен решением судей после последним. Как это все тебя сейчас на сегодняшний день мотивирует в своей подготовке? Это как бы вопрос для тебя. А как это все мотивирует в своей подготовке? И как это может тебе даже может именно и помогает? Uh, you know, I don't... I already forgot about this and uh, not keep in my mind uh, of, of these situations, you know. I just felt like uh, it's the most, uh, what it gives me motivation is haters. When I lost, I used to buy a lot of uh, applaudissements. Oh, uh, applaudissements. Аплодисменты, так есть, аплодисменты. Да, аплодисменты. Да, я слышал много аплодисментов, которые я потерял. В России, в России это больше, чем в Америке, вы знаете. Но в Америке, даже в Америке, бачные фанаты войны отвечают меня в Facebook, в Instagram, в социальных медиа, что я победил войну. И они сейчас будут поддерживать меня in next fight, you know, like, and right now, is the most, my most motivation is haters, are haters, yeah, and I want to, I want to disappoint it, uh, they, they, and team what, team of what, because they right now, speaking a lot of bullshit to my side, 
they say that uh, I this, I this, I this. I don't care. They will pay in, 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 inside the ring for everything what they said. Trust me. I do yeah. trust you. Anybody else? <laughs> yeah, I, I believe for a long time that Turkey does his best work when he doesn't like his opponents. So Ward has done, uh, and, and his people have done a, a great deal to ensure that that will be the case. So I'm really happy about that. Well, I do personally think boxers operate better when they've got a healthy little mean streak to them. On the other side of that same question, you certainly are one of those people that has that has a status as a people's champion. You did have a lot of people say after the last fight you were the winner who saw it the same way your whole team did and supported you, and they see you the same way with or without the loss, no matter what. What is your reaction to them, and how much has that helped you after that fight? All of you. Many people before said that you won, that they supported you. What is your reaction to these people who supported you? My reaction is, is good, of course. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate it to these people, you know. And uh, my my uh, what I think approved by boxing fans is it is it, 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 uh, it, uh, it mean uh, it means that I I'm right that I won, you know. It's not me on my opinion. And uh, people approve that I won, and like it's much easier to feel it, you know, and understand uh, when you're not alone or for this decision. And anyone else yeah. want to add to that? <laughs> no, thank, thank you, you very much. And, and Sergey, I'm very impressed with how good your English has become. Congratulations. Thank you all. Thank you very much. I try to be. <laughs> Our next question is going to come from Chris Williams from C Boxing Info. Please go ahead. Hey, thanks for having me. Question is more so for John David Jackson. Um, you know, the one knock that you can have on Sergey's boxing ability is that he doesn't finish strong. While it may not be, you know, something that's you know, totally founded, but it's probably the one thing that people will say, Sergey doesn't finish strong. Is there anything you're doing after looking at that first fight to correct that and make sure that he finishes strong? So if it comes to a decision, you guys can make sure you solidify it. Well, uh, uh, people say that he doesn't finish strong. I mean, what fight besides his last fight, what fight have they seen that in Sergey? He finished fighting. He finished strong in all fights. Um, but the last fight, you know, Sergey takes responsibility for why he didn't finish strong. So we, you know, that's already been talked about. Uh, for the second fight, you know, there's certain things that they want to work on that's going to make it better for him to, to, to finish stronger and to be more dominating, like he was in the first half of the first fight. So if we do that for the second half of the second fight. Then there should be no doubt. Uh, hopefully, the, the, the judges will get it right this time because uh, if you look at the first half of the first fight, Sergey did exactly what he needed to do. He proved what I've been saying for years, that he's a better boxer than him. He, he beat Andre at his own game. He out boxing. Yes, he dropped him. So, you know, there's not much more that he needs to do, but just, you know, do more in the second half of the second fight like he did in the first half of the first fight. Okay. And then final question for Sergey: Is there anything that Andre Ward does that, you know, that you think about all the time that might frustrate you a little bit or something that you look at and you say, if I could take this away, figure out a way to take this away, I can really, really dominate him? No, other things. What happens, it happens. You know, I, I, I look in, I look in forward uh, for June 17 and like uh, worry about this day right now. Not worry. I mean, like, I think, I think about this day uh, and uh, trying to get best shape uh, for this fight 
But I don't care what happened, what what was it. It already was, was long time ago. It's the last, uh, it's the past uh, life already of my career. You know, I'm looking for, uh, uh, I'm looking forward. And uh, right now, let's to see what happened and what will happen June 17th. Enough to enough to speak about what what was it, you know. Let's wait. Take it time. Our next question comes from Cynthia Conte from Green TV. Please go ahead. Okay, can you guys hear me this time? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. Hey guys. Um, all right, this next or this question is for Sergey. Um, you know, it's it's been known and it's not a secret that you both have may um talked about your disdain for each other in media. Recently he has said that you have succeeded at being a bully. Can you tell us your thoughts about that, knowing that you're also a father and you're a role model to your son? что, как бы, говорит, не секрет, что вы сейчас, как бы, друг на друга наговариваете а, с Андрюхой. Но а, а, дело в том, что тебя называют буллы. Знаешь, что такое буллы? То есть, знаешь, такой, как а, лидирующий, в школе бывают лидирующие такие пацаны, которые ходят и там всех наказывают, отбирают. Там, то есть, они сейчас, как бы, используют тебя в роли вот этого буллы. И можете как-то прокомментировать вот этот момент? Uh, I can say only that uh, that this team makes everything to lose my mind and my country for the fight. And uh, right now say about me, about my team, about my coach, everything, uh, like bad things. And wrong things, uh, and like I don't care, you know. Like uh, believe me, I I, I saw in, in my life enough and more enough than they try to do. Okay, and and um, along with that, when you say because he does attack your team, he's also saying that your team, you uh, main events, your coach, uh, Egas, you guys are all playing games which are not very crafty or creative, but you're playing games and trying to sway the commission and judges your way if the, if the fight is close again. What are your thoughts about that? And anyone from the team can answer this also. Kathy, probably you would be the best to answer this question because you are involved yeah. in the judging. Um, you, know, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it was I asked the Nevada commission to please point, appoint judges the very, very best, the ones who don't make mistakes, so that the, uh, the, decision, the, the, the decision of the judges did not become the story this time. And um, I don't think that's called the judges. <laughs> um, you know, we, we all have a right to speak to the commission, about, uh, and I would have been remiss if I'd not. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the panel of judges that they've chosen this time uh, have a great deal of experience. I don't think they're likely to be swayed by the crowd. I don't think they're likely to make mistakes, uh, hopefully, but in the end, um, everybody's human and mistakes happen. So Sergey knows that this time he's got to win very convincingly, and uh, he will, and, uh, and I'm happy with the judges. All right, thank you. Well, Good luck, Sergey. Our next question is going to come from Steve Brand from Fight um, Height. Please go ahead. Yeah, my question is for John, actually. Um, John, there's been a lot of talk about Andre Ward's style, right? So on, on one hand, uh, there are a lot of fans who say that he's a brilliant uh, technician and an inside fighter. There have been a lot of talk about that. I think you said yourself that he's a dirty fighter and holds too much. Can you talk about whether you think that you saw those type of tactics in the first fight? And, you know, what do you do to neutralize that? Uh, and also in the first fight, I noticed that Sergey initiated um, some clinches and headlocks and things like that. Was that strategic to offset what Andre Ward would typically do in your mind? Well, uh, I never said Andre was a dirty fighter. I said the, the, the things that he does, you know, they're, they're, not, um, they're not fan favorite because he does hold a lot. You know, as far as the inside game, 
there is no real inside game for him. And, you know, look, a true inside fighter doesn't grab and clinch and hold all the whole fight. He lets his hands free, he blocks shots, and he, and he, and he counters back. That's what, that's what Andre does. He does hold a lot, you know. But those things work for him, and you can't knock it a bit. You know, if it works for him, he's been winning, and, 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 and he has fans from it. Okay, let, let, let it be that. Um, you know, uh... Sergey just do you know? Yeah, Sergey held someone himself. You know, as, as, as the fight progressed, the first fight progressed. He got he got so much uh, fatigue, so he did hold a lot. Um, but we're working on that for the second fight. Um, in this fight, he's gonna be the better second fighter because you know you have to think about this. Once you when you when you have the, the power that Sergey has, the tremendous nasty guy giving talent, the power that he has, they don't need him to hold on the inside. If Andre wants to fight on the inside this time, which I think they may try to fight more on the inside, then he has to be willing to gamble, and that gamble is can he take the body shots? That's so you're going to hit him with. Now, if he can withstand that, God bless him. He's a hell of a man. But there's no, there's no human being that, can, that your body's not made to take kind of, for that kind of punishment. So let's see if, if he can stand the inside, not grab and hold, but he can fight on the inside. If he's willing to take the punishment, then okay, then then, 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 then take it. Um, you know, uh, as, far, as far as the dirty part, no. He, it's not dirty. It, 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 it's smart tactics on his part. Um, he gets away with it, and hey, that's, that's part of the game. So you, you have to give him credit for that. In this fight here, there's certain things that we did. we had to work on to make the fight better for Sergey. And if he does the things that he needs to do, then he's going to prove no doubt that he's a better fighter all around. And he's going to prove what I said years ago. I told, I told Vegas that Sergey can beat Andre Ward. He proved that in the first half of the fight. Now let's finish in the second half of the fight and win the fight. Thanks, John. And our last question is going to come from Keith Idick from theboxingscene.com. Please go ahead. Hey, John. Uh, obviously, uh, what happened last week caused uh, uh, some controversy and everything. I was just wondering, did you have a chance to uh, speak to Sergey after all that happened last week as far as the uh, rumors about switching teams and all that kind of stuff? Did you guys speak about it or just kind of leave it alone after that? No, we, we talked about it. You know, listen, yeah, it, it, here's what Ward's team tried to do. They try to disrupt our team because at this stage they know that's all they really can do. If, 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 if they have, if they need, to, if they want to be honest about it, they can say we, we didn't win the first fight, but we got the decision. Okay, that's part of boxing. We have, and our side have to accept that. But now to try to play mind games and try to make different maneuvers to, to offset our camp, you can't do that. Our camp is strong. Actually, what they did, and I'm glad they did it. It made, it made us even stronger and become closer. And, you know, uh, we're work, working a whole lot better. So I, I need to thank them for doing the thing that they thought was going to offset our camp and make camp better for us. So I appreciate what they got. And for them to say that I reached out to them first, well, come on, seriously. But, you know, if you want to say that, fine. I, don't, I have no problem with that. Um, come June 17th, all the things that, that, that Sergey wants and that he, that he deserves to have back, which are his belts, he's going to get that because he's going to do what needs to be done. And that's fight inside the ring, not talk. You know, to be champion, you need to fight. And 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 if Sergey, and if, if, if Warrior really wants to prove that he's a better fighter, then fight, fight a fight, a good hard fight. Not 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 not, not do what you do best, and that's to be. He takes guys and maneuvers them around the ring and, and wins fights uh, strategic, strategically, but not in an exciting fashion. But for this fight here, to prove to the champion that you deserve the first decision that you got, fight, stand, stand in the ring and fight this man, and, and prove that you're the better fighter. And, and show the fans that, that you know you deserve this fight, this title. You know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens come the 17th. But with all, when all said and done, Sergey Kovalev's hands should be raised and should be the world champion once again. Sergey, can you comment on that? You know how you guys kind of just got past that last week and talked about it a little bit. Серега, можешь прокомментировать как-то вот этот то, что за Джона там говорили, что Джон как бы обратился в ихнюю команду, что были вот эти всякие разные разговоры, разговаривали ли вы с ним об этом или не говорили об этом, или вообще как бы Джон сказал, что вы как бы говорили чуть немножко об этом, то есть что вас сделало как бы еще те же команду. Давай я скажу, что ты перейдешь, да, Игорь? Давай, ага. То есть, ну, я считаю, что Джон, ну, наверное, не настолько глуп, чтобы предлагать им свои услуги, где нет гарантии, что его возьмут. А вот, и, то есть, этим самым поставить себя в ту ситуацию, в которой, ну, в принципе, он оказался. То есть, если бы он сам подошел и с ним платил, и они бы отказали, то есть, он бы выглядел, как говорится, изменником. 
А, наверное, вероятнее всего, на самом деле, то, что они сами его позвали, надеясь на то, чтобы, когда он согласится, хоть выкинуть из него какие-то секреты, может быть, по подготовке, по, моей, по моим э, слабым и сильным сторонам. Вот. Ну и раз ответ получили нет, поэтому начали вот это так все афишировать. И, ну, то есть вот так, как уже афишируют, что якобы Джон сам и не понял. Um, Sergey says, my point, uh, my point of view of this one is, I don't think John is dumb as, as they're trying to do. You know? I don't think John is a dumb to go to the other side where there is no guarantee they're going to take him or not. And most likely they, um, they contact John and they were trying to get some kind of like a, a strategy or some kind of like a secret of my preparation for the fight and then they got the answer no then they decided to raise the flag what you know John is trying to get into their side this is this is you know the point I see and you know in this if it's gonna if it will come out in the in the beginning where John uh, reached them and tried to get his you know his attention to it then he will be like um, Uh, I don't know how to, to translate that word, but, you know, like a, uh, like a spy, you know. But uh, as far as, as now, I think uh, we're just stronger and we're one team and uh, we're going forward. Hello? That was the last question in queue. Okay. I'm going to let Sergey get back to his training here. I really appreciate everybody's time. Kathy, if you'd like to make some closing comments, now would be good. Kathy, are you there, Kathy Duva? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. What was okay. that? So let's have some closing comments from you, and then we'll um, let no, get back to his training. Uh, just get back to your training, man. Uh, 11 days, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks all for, for joining us. I appreciate it. So, everybody, tickets are still available at the Mandalay Bay Event Center box office and on AXS.com. And if you have any other questions or need anything else, just shoot me an email. And thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sergey. Thank you, Agus. Thank you, John. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I would like to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. I'll disconnect, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>